What is up, everyone? Luska here with Charge and Blast, which is a game that came out for uh, Dreamcast about 14 years ago. And I used to play this as a kid, so, you know, let's look at it. Ooh, what's the options do? Oh, normal, hard, continues. Oh, you can put extra lives on this. Okay. All right, one player mode. Here we go. And this game is basically about, it's kind of like, it's, it feels like a game you would play at an arcade, you know, a classic arcade. It's like, basically, it's like you move throughout the level and then you shoot people. And everyone has custom stuff, like this guy has grenades and he looks like Magic Johnson. Huh, he actually does like Magic Johnson. But, uh, I wouldn't recommend him. <laughs> I would recommend him because he doesn't have a multi-lock, you know, uh, on land, a multi-lock attack. And I, I, I usually use Pamela or Johnny because Johnny has multi-rocket and Pamela has multi-lasers. But I like Johnny better. So here we go. The City of Nest. The City of Nest. And this game is... It, like I've, I like I finally got me a Dreamcast emulator, or oh, actually I had one the whole time, but I finally figured out how to, how to get it to work. So I was like, oh yeah, here we go. So here we go, multiple rockets. Your energy will run out in 50 seconds. 50 seconds. Actually, this is a little bit too loud. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Enemy ahead. Get ready for battle. And you scan like that and you just shoot it. This game is so awesome. Things like that, and then, and you have like a set amount of time, you know, to move throughout the level. So it's it's kind of fun. So if you don't do good at the like the first like mini stage, you kind of get uh, kind of suck. I mean, you kind of like lose because you don't have enough time to kill. But this first level is pretty easy, and you can like hold your blast to like charge it up. Hence the name, charging blast. I will provide you with an energy cell. Yep. And this game has like I think it has five levels. It's like the city, it's like the city, the uh, beach, the underwater, and then like Las Vegas, and then the alien site. I will provide you with an energy cell. And the fun fact, fun fact, I have never beat this game before. Never, ever beat it in my life. <laughs> like I like all like all yesterday I've been playing this game, and I'm like, oh man, I, I remember how, how hard this game was as a kid, and it was just it was so tough. All right, this should be the boss here. And every single boss, her along with her eggs. every single boss has the little shield generator on the head, as you see there, and you have to hit it. And I still, I always, basically in the game, I always use multi rockets because multi rockets are like the best. You have succeeded in destroying the shield generator. See, I have destroyed the shield, and of course, if you charge up your blast, the longer you charge it up, you know when it gets blue, when it says max, does more damage. But sometimes I just fire it off anyway, just to fire multiple shots. And there we go. She should be dead. There you go. Boom. All right. So you see how it's like a side scrolling. This has an arcade feel to it. But yeah. Here we go. Oh yeah. Party on the beach. I think this is the part. This is the one where you have to face Godzilla. It's pretty fun. But it's, uh, the first like part of this has tons of enemies on it. But the only levels that really, the only uh, level that really challenges challenges me, the only levels that actually challenge me is the level right after this. Ooh, I think I actually did destroy the power plant. I don't think that really matters. But she was like, "Don't destroy the power plant." There we go. Kill those little fish things. And every time she said energy cell, she gives you like 20, 20 more seconds on the clock. These guys are actually really, really hard. Or not hard, but just tough. And they fire back at you. And a very funny thing is that whenever I first started playing this game as a kid, it took me about three years because I used to play my Dreamcast, Nintendo, Dream, and like uh, PS1 all in cycle. So I didn't play the same game like every day. And uh, I didn't know you can scroll left to right until it took me about three years to learn <laughs> to figure out that I could move left to right. It's crazy. And granted, I was about six years old when I got this game, so yeah. <laughs> and this was hard because, uh, a little bit hard because these little dinosaurs come up out of the water and they shoot blast at you from the water. And, and I've, been, I've been always, like on my channel, I kind of want to get into like, you know, looking at games or viewing games. So this is like a start, I guess. <laughs> Alright, here's Godzilla. Just look how big his feet is. I mean, he must have a thyroid problem. 
Like, look how big his feet is. And I just, I just randomly shoot. Make, I'm trying, try to make sure I get the uh, shield generator. Oh crap! Yeah, his uh, things pack a punch. And the only thing that really uh, carries over from one level to another is your life. So if I get hit a lot in like the beginning, it's gonna carry over to the last level. And and when I say last level, uh, you, you see how hard it is. Uh, you see how hard it is. It's it's kind of tough. Boom. There we go. Godzilla is dead. No, you destroyed me. Look how big his eye is. I don't know if you guys can see his eye, but it's kind of big. All right. Only got five percent damage. Under pressure. And this one's actually the boss on this one is like a squid or a octopus. He's kind of tricky, so I actually might not get past this part. <laughs> but I have a couple more continues, so that's just, so that's good. Here we go. And I kind of use lock on torpedoes. Mainly because it's only water. But this is the only time you ever use lock on torpedoes. Enemy ahead. Get ready for battle. Terminate all enemies within the war zone. See, these fish are actually kind of annoying because you can't... Oh, crap, I got hit. There we go. See what I try to do? Like, I try to lock on to everyone. You know, like, no matter how hard the, uh... You know, no matter how uh, charged up my blast is. And these, these fish are known for hitting you. And sometimes your, your camera goes to your... Missiles for some reason. There we go. Okay, let's move on. 44 seconds. But why did, Oh, I bet you if I destroy it, I get less points. And that is actually the... Uh, that is actually Pamela, my other, uh... My other, you know, playable character, so you have to save her. And, uh, and on the, on the, uh, and on the next level, <laughs> I'm gonna have to save, uh... You know, the other guy that looks like Magic Johnson. Oh no, she's dying. No, watch out. Gotta watch out for that blast. See, that's why I don't like these guys. They're so tough. There we go. Oh, wow. See, I don't like it when they get close because they just throw missiles. No. I know. And the second thing is, if you don't have enough time to kill these uh, octopuses, you don't have enough time to kill the crocodile or the uh, squid boss. Ah, oh, shoot. See, time's up. <laughs> continue? Yes, I will continue. And I like how it continues right off the bat. Continues right off the bat. I know right now I can easily just switch to one of these, but if they miss, you don't get that back. There we go. I will provide you with an energy Here is the boss. I detect explosives yeah. within the body of the hectopus. Be careful. The hectopus. Oh yeah, it only has six legs, so I guess it is a hectopus. I always wonder why they call it the hectopus. So the the shield generator is on the butt, so it's kind of hard to aim. So I just always aim, try to aim down the middle. Shut up! I know. I don't think I'm gonna. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna down this because I have uh, or lose because I don't have enough time. You know, I have 40 seconds, but just getting the shield genera gener generator just so hard. There it is. Duh. Oh no, I forgot the smoke can hit you. Hopefully I can make it pass so I can show you guys the, the last level. Because the next level is really, really easy to me. Ah. No. Ah. Good job, good job, good job. There we go. And then once you destroy the shield generator, you can just attack all the limbs freely. And her bombs are actually pretty annoying. I wonder if there actually is a such thing as a hectopus. Never heard of hectopus, just an octopus. There we go. And that's kind of like my tactic. I just aim at uh, at the person. Don't even care how charged my weapon is. And there we go. We have killed the hectopus. There we go. I'm glad I got past this part. There we go. Okay. I got 5%, 5.8% damage. I'm pretty sure that's like overall. Desire Town. And this is Las Vegas, and it's just like populated by gargoyles and gargoyles and giant tremor. And I, I, I bet you the boss on this uh, this mission, did I press start? The boss on this mission is off of the movie Tremors, I bet. Because Tremors, I think Tremors came out in 99 or 2000. Your energy will run out in 50 
And uh, it, it, if you if you seen that movie, I, I don't remember watching Tremors, but I know what the the people look like or the little monsters look like. Oh yeah, I don't know why I'm switching to some torpedoes. But that's what the boss on this level looks like. You'll see it here in a second. There we go. See, I always trust my uh, lock-on missiles or my multiple rockets. There we go. See, I like how it has the arcade feel to it. There we go, one more. Alright. Nice, 60 seconds. Now, I think this is where my other teammate comes in. He, he's, I don't think he's trapped, but he's helpful. Why does he sound like that? He sounds like he's like has chewing tobacco in his mouth. But he plays kind of a, a mini role in this uh in this on this level, so you'll see that here in a second. All right, there we go. Those two are dead. There we go. I will provide you with an energy cell. It's a worm larva. Destroy it. See, that looks like tremors. Even though that's not the boss, that's like a mini boss. Oh wow. <laughs> Almost got me. But this was like that's why it's already dead because it's a mini boss. I will provide you with an energy cell. Alright, here's the actual boss. It's an adult worm. The shell like skin is very strong. Yep. But the good news is the generator is right Destroy on the front. The there you go. See, that's why I say it looks like Tremors, you know. Oh, God, dang. That thing is pretty fast. Yep, it's pretty easy on this, uh, in destroying the uh, generator on that one since it's right on the front. And he just, like, teleports or digs and goes elsewhere once you get a certain amount of damage done to him. And it gives you great time to charge a blast. blast. And he gets eaten. Yep, yeah, I don't think you could do anything about that. And he goes all the way back here. There we go. Oh no! He, oh, he still has a little bit of health left. And there we go, right in my sights. Die! Yeah! Okay, we got it. 54,000 points. Nice, I like how they hone in. It's cool. All right, okay. Now this is this is the last mission. This is the part I like, I have never beat this level in my life. It is crazy, and this is like uh, I want to say Area Fifty One. That's what I'm pretty sure it is because you know I was just in uh, Nevada. All right, here we go. I, I can maybe I can beat the uh, these little alien androids, but uh, I might actually die before I get to the boss. And the boss is a giant flying saucer, which is in incredibly hard. I mean, it is ridiculous. Thank you, computer. All right, here we go. I don't like how to do the camera view sometimes. It kind of uh, makes me think I'm going to die, or I died, or I got hit or something. There we go. I will provide you with an energy cell. Here we go. And here's the aliens. And they're destroying America's. There we go. Yeah, I don't think they shoot that much actually. So you can just. I always lobby. Oh, yes, they do. Never mind. I forgot they shoot the water cannons. That's what I like to call it. It looks like water. There we go. Here we go. 71 seconds. We might have it. Oh, yeah. This is when you have the aerial people, too. Oh, yeah. And they do tons of damage. That's right. <laughs> No. Oh no! See, there we go. I have to continue. <laughs> and it has like to continue like the arcade game. No! Ah, oh, see those aliens are just so strong. No, I just keep running back into it. 
And this is like the last level before I get to the final boss. I, I really hope I can at least show you guys what the boss looks like. Or how hard it is. There we go. Come on, let me just destroy you. Here we go. Here's the boss. Here we go. The mothership is full of aliens. Yes. Full of aliens. Here is the mothership. The laser cannons are also the shield generators. Destroy them. Great. They're also shield generators. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe this is the time I actually beat it. This is actually I haven't reached I haven't uh, reached the boss since I was little, so this is like the first time I reached the boss because I played this all yesterday, and I'm actually quite surprised I got to this part. It was always oh I actually might win I might win. Let me not get my hopes up. Let me not get my hopes up. But it, it would be pretty awesome if I actually did no no. Keep going, keep going. 15 seconds. 15. Get it. Get the alien ship. I don't have time for it. Something to reach down and come. This is actually the farthest I have gotten in this game in my life. No! No! <laughs> okay, so my high score was 949,802. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow, the inverse. The controls are kind of crazy. All right, so yeah, that is charging blast. Let's see how I did. Did I do pretty good? Yeah, I I did okay. I did okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one of the one of the dudes' names were uh, Y2K. I'm not sure if this game came out in 2001 or 2000, but all right, this has Veloska here, you know. And we were looking at charging blast, which is a Dreamcast game. So, if you want to play this, just look up uh, emulator. And stuff and learn how to play it from there <laughs> so yeah and uh if you like this video don't forget to like it if you enjoyed it and comment if you uh you know i'm interested have you ever played this game what dreamcast games did you own stuff like that <laughs> and subscribe for more because i do play other stuff and of course tune in next time oh actually there won't be a next time yeah well yeah <laughs> all right guys uh well peace